Should you pay off your mortgage or invest in real estate? In today's fluctuating interest rate environment, the question of whether you should pay off your mortgage or invest in real estate is more relevant than ever. In this video, I'll break down the benefits and drawbacks of paying off your mortgage, as well as the benefits and drawbacks of taking the money that you would be using to pay down the mortgage and investing that into real estate. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll give you my personal preference on which option is the best in the current real estate market. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time for months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. If you're like me, you most likely grew up in a household where your parents taught you that you should pay off your mortgage as quickly as you can. This was very common with the post-war generation that suffered through the tough times after the war. Having personal debt was not as normal as it is today either, but it doesn't always make financial sense to pay off your mortgage. So throw your parents' advice out the window and let's look at this objectively and then you can make your own decisions from there. We'll start with the benefits of paying off your mortgage. Benefit number one, peace of mind. When your mortgage is paid off, there is a certain amount of relief you will feel no longer owing money to the bank. If interest rates go up or down or property values go up or down, it doesn't really affect you as much because you no longer owe any money on that property. This is a huge benefit for many and not only gives them a sense of freedom, but a sense of accomplishment. I know, for instance, my sister and her husband took the kids to Disneyland when they paid off their first house as a celebration. I don't think my nephews cared about the mortgage, but they definitely loved Disneyland. Benefit number two, decreased living costs. The average Canadian spends anywhere from 30 to 60% of their paycheck each month on their living expenses. Even if your mortgage is paid off, you don't eliminate your expenses entirely. Even if you're debt free, you still have to pay your property taxes, utilities, insurance, internet cable, and so on. But taking away your mortgage payment definitely does significantly reduce your expenses. In most cases, it would reduce it by at least 50%. Benefit number three, less interest. By paying off your mortgage faster and sooner, you will end up paying less interest to the bank. Mortgages are generally amortized over 25 years and your mortgage payments are split into two categories, principal and interest. The bank front loads your interest, meaning that you will pay more interest in the beginning of your mortgage than you will be paying in the end. So by paying off your mortgage faster, you will reduce the amount of interest that you will pay. Even switching to something like a weekly payment versus a monthly payment will reduce your mortgage amortization by three to four years. But by doing this, there can be some drawbacks as well, so let's look at those. Drawback number one, reducing your borrowing power. By increasing your mortgage payment, you may decrease your ability to qualify for additional financing. If, for instance, you wanted to buy a second home like a cottage and you wanna borrow money to do so. If you have a higher mortgage payment in order to expedite paying off your balance, that will affect your ability to qualify for additional financing. As a piece of advice, Advice, instead of increasing your payments to the bank, just put the money aside each month. And at the end of the year, make a lump sum payment which goes directly to your principal. This will reduce your amortization even faster. Drawback number two, you still have costs. As I mentioned earlier, even with a paid off mortgage, that does not eliminate your living expenses entirely. Drawback number three, lower return on investment. If you have a paid off property and your property is worth $500,000, you basically have $500,000 in cash sitting in your property. That $500,000 dollar investment is only going to grow at the rate that the real estate market is increasing or decreasing on a year over year basis. Sometimes this is a good thing and sometimes this is a very bad thing. I've seen the market increase 20% year over year. So your $500,000 property could very easily be worth $600,000 the following year. I've also seen the opposite where your property values can drop at the same rate. But over a 10 year span, the average property in Canada will appreciate just above the rate of inflation, which is somewhere around three to 4%. So your $500,000 property would be appreciating at three to 4% per year. The question is, could you make a higher rate of return elsewhere? Now let's look at the other side of it, which is investing in real estate. Drawback number one, more management required. No matter what form of real estate investing you get into, there will be additional management that will be necessary. Depending on which strategy you decide to use will tell you how much additional management will be required. Some of them are more passive and some of them are very active, but regardless, there will be additional management that you will need to take on. On that note, I've just introduced some new educational products. I have created four new courses with tailor-made solutions based on your specific needs and wants as a real estate investor. To find out which strategies will best suit you, click the link below which will guide you to a 30 second assessment that will tell you which strategies you should be focusing on based on your skills, your time, the amount of money you have to invest, 
and your confidence level within real estate investing. This leads perfectly into drawback number two. You can lose money if you don't know what you're doing. Investing in real estate sounds great and is great when you're making money, but that's not the reality for everyone. I've seen many investors lose significant amounts of money because they don't know what they're doing. I've seen a lot of people get bad advice from someone who has no idea what they're doing. I also see novice investors get excited about the real estate market when the market's going up and they buy in and then when the market goes down, they panic and they sell. They buy high and they sell low. It's the exact opposite of what we wanna do as investors. So do me a favor, if you wanna invest in real estate, get educated before you dive in. Over to the benefits of investing in real estate versus paying off your mortgage. Benefit number one, higher rates of return. Taking your savings and investing in real estate will often yield a higher rate of return. As I explained earlier, if you have all of your money tied up in a property, it's only going to be giving you a rate of return at whatever the real estate market is doing. If you know how to invest successfully in real estate, you should be able to, at a minimum, triple or quadruple your returns by actively investing. The average property in my portfolio between cash flow, mortgage pay down, and appreciation returns somewhere between 15 and 20% annually. Those are the average properties. I have others in my portfolio that return significantly higher. Benefit number two, leveraging and scaling. If you are comfortable with good debt, you can use it to scale and grow your net worth. There's an expression in real estate that you cannot save your way to wealth and I 100% agree with that. But if you can use leverage on your properties, you can grow your portfolio much quicker. I'll use the same example I used earlier. If you have a $500,000 property, you can leverage leverage that and have a mortgage on that of $400,000. I now have $400,000 in cash to go and buy additional properties. With $400,000 in cash, I can go and buy four additional rental properties at $500,000 if I can qualify for financing. Because we need 20% down when buying rental properties, so that's a $100,000 down payment on each of those properties. So you can see how you can quickly scale and grow your net worth by using leverage. Benefit number three, Passive income. Paying off your mortgage is paying off your debt, but it's not going to yield any additional income. By investing in real estate, you can generate additional income as well as build equity over time. Passive income can significantly change your financial situation. While having equity in a property is great and having no debt on it is good, you can't buy groceries or go on an amazing family vacation with equity, but you can with passive income. As promised, I wanted to give you my personal perspective on which way I would proceed faced with these two options in today's market. While I think there are benefits for those who are more conservative to pay off your mortgage, the wealthiest people that I know use leverage and real estate investing to grow their net worth. You're also diversifying your investing. By paying off one property, you're putting all of your eggs in one basket. By purchasing investment real estate, you're now diversifying over multiple assets, which can be a significant benefit. Ultimately though, this is a decision that you have to make based on your comfort level. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section below Below, whether you are a fan of paying off your mortgage or using that money to invest in real estate. If you have additional questions for me, you can also leave those in the comments section as well. For more information on my courses and education programs, check out my website at darrenvoros.com. For those who aren't doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.